morning. This is Nita with the Time Peaks Garden. And I'm just getting back from the gym. I'm home early because, you know, I have no more painting to do. Um, and the, the tree has moved down some. No, I noticed it this morning when I left because the leaves over here on the right side. Um, now scrape the Jeep as I go drive by. And I am hoping because we're supposed to have another two days roughly of possible inclement weather, you know, storms, etc. That it may actually bring the tree down the rest of the way you know so maybe Sunday afternoon or Monday I can uh, clear it okay because um, otherwise it's just it's still here in the way you're gonna get to hear the, the leaves scrape See, it's just the leaves. All right, I'm gonna go home. Pan is waiting for me. All right, well, I keep pushing the next storm back. Um, first it was 11, and then it was 12, and now it's maybe two. So, instead of goofing off in the house all day, I came out one to check the, the container. And you see the water dripping? That means I'm full, 500 gallons. It's max, which is awesome. It's lots and lots of rain. More coming. Um, got a couple of asparagus in here I need to harvest. I think I said that yesterday and I didn't get them. Um, but I wanted to come out and check since we had storms last night and I went to the gym first thing this morning. I wanted to come out and check my, uh, my shade covers because the weatherman is also telling me that... Um, you know, after this four days of rain, it'll be three weeks, and we're not going to see any more rain. And while they've never been, I don't know, predicting well, um, still need to come out and check. You know, figure it out. See how everybody's doing. Um, and then also, if we're truly not going to... Let me shut my electricity off here. If we're truly going to have another three weeks of no rain, I need to... Sorry, I'm trying to hang on to stuff and do stuff here. Open the gate and not drop stuff. You know. But if we're going to have another three weeks of rain, there we go. Um, this bed here that I actually am I'm ready to plant, I need to build shade cover for it as well. So I've got these awesome two-by-twos. And I'm looking to see if they can be my center brackets. That makes sense then they do. They look like they'll be more than wide enough. Um, do a little three foot high or four foot high A-frame and that's the center bracket all the way down so I can attach fabric to it and run it all the way down and give them some shade cover. Um, especially since I can't find shade cloth anywhere. But I can find the uh, shelf liners. So I will continue to use the shelf liners. It's just that easy. right? And those are going to work. So, you know, Pretty much means I don't have to cut anything to size, which is awesome. So I'm going to go remove nails. And then I'm just start building them in the workshop. That way I'm in the workshop and not out here in the rain. Having said that, the, uh, they look better. Even like, like this corner here has always been a really droopy corner. And it's not excessively droopy right now. And we've had two days of cloud cover and rain. So um, I think that has helped them a lot. And when the sun comes back out, I'm hoping the shade cover helps them a lot as well. That's the mold one. I put it in the ground up here. Um, same thing, I had to take off some of his side leaves because while I was going in and out, I damaged some leaves, but I didn't damage any of the fruit. Or at least the majority of it. All right. Everybody looks fine. I will also have to watch the passion fruit. Um, I've always wanted to make sure that it doesn't attach to the uh, my elderberry here. Um, now I gotta watch it on this pole. Because it's like, yeah, we can climb this. 
All righty. I will um, talk to you later. Yes, Panda's in here. You know, supervisor approved as long as she gets a biscuit. Um, so, you know, I did a video. Um, nails are gone, nails are gone, nails are gone, nails are gone up to here. Um, I'm probably not going to do the 4 by 4s today. Um, then you come back over here, nails are gone, nails are gone, and, and yeah, I go through and I write my sizes on them. So, when I put them away, and that's what I'm getting ready to do now, you know. What is it? 2 by 4 by 96 yeah, That's upside down. It's still, I know what size I'm looking at. So, let me get busy. Put all the stuff away that I want to put away. And then start working on shade frames for the, um, the next row. Probably going to use on my little 48s here. They're 41 inches, 42 inches, 43 inches, 44 inches, 45 and 46 inches. I mean, there's just a whole bunch of different spaces here. Um, they won't be that tall because once you A-frame them down, they drop down about four inches. So, but that's still more than enough for lettuce and greens and turnips and radishes and the stuff that I want to start in the garden. You know, as soon as I get some more shade covering. All right, let me get busy, put the stuff away. All righty, it's a little mini A-frame. Got it sitting on the logs right now just so you can see it. Um, I built it in the shop. Had a hell of a time getting it out the door, so we will not be doing that again. Um, and then, uh, I don't know, it's either too big or too small. <laughs> it's either got to fit on the outside of the logs so it's not wonky, or it's got to fit inside the logs so it's not wonky. Either way, it's the wrong size. Um, so, okay, yeah, that, what does that mean? The build that just means I'm a little aggravated. I've wasted time building it. It works, you know. Little A-frame, sized together. Um, put one thingy there and one thingy there of the woven fabric, or not woven fabric, the, the shelving liner. So it'll give me two layers. Kind of like that one, you know, two layers. Um, which will provide shade for the beds. Um, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I just got to get the size right. So, but I'm aggravated because that means I've got to take this one all apart. I already took it apart trying to get it out the door. I uh, I'd use nails first because I didn't want to give up my screws. And I was popping nails out trying to get it out the door. So, okay, nails aren't working. Use the screws. It's the wrong size. All right, I'm done. I'm just done messing with it today. Right idea. Just not what I need. So. I'm going to set it over here kind of on some semi-level ground, turn the fence on, call it a day, and I will talk to you later. And you know, on hot days like this, I keep Panda in the house, you know? I'll go in and use the restroom and bring her outside and let her come for a walk or whatever, but she doesn't spend hours outside like this. She's a, you know, a mostly black dog, and it gets way too hot for her way too fast. And a fan in the workshop is just not enough. So anyway... I'm going to set this on level ground. I'm going to let Panda outside. Yeah, and just be done. Talk to you later.